Hi, Mike from Conference Technologies. Today's episode of CTI Tips is all about installing low voltage frames. Let's get started. When mounting low voltage devices like a keypad, HD based T wall plate, network plate, or other AV device into a wall where a conduit or metal electrical box is not already provided, we can use a low voltage bracket, sometimes called a caddy, or shortened to an LV1 for a single gang or LV2 for a double gang. Cutting one of these into the drywall only takes a few minutes to do. When I first started installing these, I used to measure out the box I was going to cut in then measure it out on the wall and, and use a straight edge as a level to make sure my box would be straight once installed. However, many years ago, I found one of these guys. It's not only a template for LV1s and LV2s, it also has levels on it to make sure your box is installed straight. It saves me a whole bunch of time. We'll put a link below to find one of these. The first step to installing one of these brackets is to make sure it matches any other electrical outlets or switches in the room you're working in. Typically, these are 18 inches off the floor for outlet height or 48 inches for switch height, but this can vary room to room, building to building. Once we verify the height of the box, we need to locate where we're going to put it. Make sure we have a good cable path, no other obstacles are in our way, and that we're not going to hit a stud. Before we cut into the drywall, let's first use some painter's tape and a box lid to prevent our dust from getting to the floor. If you want to see another video on workplace tidiness, click the link above. Now that we have our hole cut out, all we need to do is just put in our frame, check our level, and then tighten the screws down. These screws are going to grab to the back of the drywall and pull everything tight. From there, all we need to do is go ahead and pull our cable, connect up our plate, and we're good to go. With those couple of tricks, it should make installing low voltage brackets even easier for you. Hope you learned something today. If you did, please click like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any suggestions for future episodes, please put them in the comments below. Thanks, we'll see you next episode.